Oh, Nigel. I'm sorry this had to happen to you, man. You don't deserve this, you know. You're a good lad. Well, the, the, uh, the household mood isn't uh, at all great right now. Uh, him and uh, Pam, where is Pam speaking of Pam? Oh, there's Chelsea the ghost, but where's Pam? Ah, oh, she's just trying to sleep it off. Well, yeah, they're both very upset about uh, Rhiannon passing away. But uh, Manny the alien, well, uh, uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Because right now, the one thing you're all probably wondering is what we're going to do about Nigel's pregnant, evil alien girlfriend. Evil? Yes, evil. In the previous episode, there were numerous occasions where Manny the alien would strike out these strange beams of energy into Nigel's head. Harmless? Fuck no, she's an alien. But don't you think it's a bit coincidental that Rhiannon drops dead right after she did one of those energy beams into her damn head? That's right, I believe that this alien freak killed Rhiannon with the force, making it look like an accident. Coincidence? I can't really say, but no, it wasn't. It was the perfect crime. So where's the alien now? Well, I didn't think of this. Nigel did. Nigel knows she had something to do with her mysterious death. And that night after she died, when the manny was sleeping, Nigel entered and knocked her the fuck out. And manny then woke up in a dark, cold and enclosed space with bare essentials. Dazed and confused, she looked out of her window to see nothing but the crippling, sinister, smiling gaze that is Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> now Nigel is not going to kill the alien, no, no, that would be unkind. Instead, he's going to keep her here in this enclosed space, enough food to stay alive so she can give birth to the alien baby. We then kill her in this very room and keep the baby for ourselves. <laughs> What's another wonderful day in the Thornberry household? Get up, Nigel, we have stuff to do. So, Internet, on the last video, I asked you dudes what you think we should do in this, uh, this situation we got here, because we got ourselves in a bit of a pickle, all right? So something that you guys pointed out is that there's a special magical food called ambrosia, which you can make, which if a ghost manages to eat it, it brings the dead sim back to life. Fantastic, so we can just make this and use it on Rhiannon, simple. Well, actually, as you can imagine, this thing uh, it isn't that easy to make. In fact, it's really fucking hard to get. First off, we need Nigel at level 10 cooking skill. Right now, he's at level 5, and also level 10 gourmet cooking skill, which is like fancy cooking shit and stuff. He's only level 1 with that right now. And also, we need him at level 7 gardening skill. So that's also going to be a massive pain. But those are just the requirements. So the actual ingredients we need are an angel fish, which can be found by fish Fishing, which is pretty much but just by luck, a death flower, which is made by splicing the orchid and the proper granite plants, and to get the orchid plant we need to collect every single space rock, we need the whole collection, so that's another mini task in itself, and then finally we need the potion of youth which is 1500 satisfaction points, and finally we can make ambrosia and bring Nigel's soulmate back to earth for a few more good years. Now, as you can probably tell, this isn't going to be something we can do during one episode or two episodes. It's going to take a while. It's going to be like an adventure. It's going to be a slow grind. Who are you? Oh, yes, my maid. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Do it then. Lovely stuff. Kiss a manny. No, Nigel. No, 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 Nigel. We can't be going to do that. We can't be doing that. Jesus, that was close. And this is the actual thing I built where it goes into... No, no, Nigel, you can't. What are you doing now? No, no more. No kissing, Nigel. You know what? I'm going to have to lock this door for everyone now because you, you can't be trusted going in there, right? But if we look here, lads, Nigel already has 1,775 satisfaction points. You get those from collecting, you know, finishing these little wishes he has up here. And now since we've been grinding that for ages, we actually have enough already for the Persian of Youth. So let's get that. Here it is, a potion of youth. Now don't drink this, Nigel. Do not waste it. I don't know what happens if you drink it now. Just, just, yeah, don't use it. So Nigel, I think next we should go and try and get this angel fish. So, uh, let's go and get you doing some fishing. Hell yeah. Oh, oh he's got a nibble. What is it, Nigel? I need fish has been caught. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, what have you got here, Nigel? What is that? Nigel caught a koi. Ah, that's, that's okay. 
We need the angelfish show. This motherfucker's taking all the angelfish. The little bastard. Come on, Nigel, quicker. The quicker we get this angelfish, the quicker we... What's that? That looks like a... That doesn't look like an angelfish. That looks like a satanic fish. <laughs> Well, hopefully you'll have better luck with this one. There's better fish here jumping out. Blue, red ones. Jesus. Oh, wait, what's this he found? Treasure? Cow? Nigel just caught a cow plant berry. Oh, not another cow plant. Oh, Jesus. Those things are dangerous. Remember when Nigel almost got killed by one? We'll be selling that. There's a rumor going around that a crazy party's happening right now in chat. Care to join me? Who are you? I don't know who you are. Jesus. Oh. You got something now? No? Okay. Alright. Uh, what's this one? This is it! This is the angelfish! Yeah. No, it's just another treasure chest. God damn it. He caught a dragon fruit. What is a dragon fruit? We're gonna have to take a look at that. Jesus. I know, we could take a look into that. Sounds interesting, but... At the end of the day, today's been quite a low day for fishing in terms of productivity. We haven't found what we wanted. What the hell is that you got, Nigel? What is that? Nigel caught a rainbow fish worth $60. Jesus, that was a cool one. He's actually catching some cool shit now that he's been out long enough. It's actually becoming daytime. We've been out here all night. Jesus, Nigel. That's dedication. Come on, this is the one. This is the one. I can feel it. Uh. Oh, Nigel. <laughs> we will... When will we ever find that fucking angelfish? I expected this to be difficult. This is like the hardest thing to make in the game. So whatever. James, hey, it's Nigel. It's me, James. He wants to come to my birthday party. You know what? Let's go. Let's go and get his cooking up. Because we need that. Well, sure, why not? Let's bring... Uh... Two... Two grims? What? Tell you what, a manny can come. This is her day out, but we'll show no affection towards her. We'll just try and piss her off. So yeah, let's go to try and take our mind off things and wish James a happy birthday. Right, so here we are with a, uh, the, the, the two grims. <laughs> What's get? Why has this happened? This is gonna be the worst birthday party ever. Jesus, I'm so not excited. Wow, James, what a shitty place you got here. Let's cook some stuff. Why is everyone chilling in the bathroom? Why? <laughs> What's so interesting that's going on in here? Oh, Nigel, let's impress these fuckers. Let's make something good. French toast? Hell yeah. Let's do it. These motherfuckers are going to be so impressed. Why is no one comforting him that his wife has died? Ha! <laughs> His wife has just died. Just stop getting angry with him. He's trying to hide the pain. Leave him alone. You know, I'm just really big on, like, death and suffering. Well, here's uh, the bath, the, the bath, the cake. It's time to age up the sim. Oh, wait, isn't James going to become an elder now? I think he might. <laughs> James blew out the candles on his own. And now he's fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> no one was there to see it. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Poor James. God, James is old now. It looks so weird. Why are you so old, man? You look like a... You look like Ellen DeGeneres. You've been on the toilet for a while, have a grim. Don't know what you're up to. But I don't like it. Damn, this is a good trio. You know, I think to replace James, he's getting a bit old now. We need Grim Reaper in our group. Hell yeah, that'd be fantastic. James, what is up with you? You fucking stink. Oh my god. Oh, it's horrible. James, you got to take more care of yourself, man. What is going on? Go on, get out of here. Disgusting. So, so. Did you... Did you just flirt with Grim right in front of Manny? Oh, this is what got us in the problem in the first place. Nigel, I don't know what it is, but you always have this... What was that? You always have this problem with flirting with the wrong people at the wrong time. Every time. Do you not realise what she'll do to you? My work-life balance includes nobody else. No living body, that is. Okay, so Grim is single. I... I think... I think... I think we should go for it, to be honest. Nigel's had a regular person, an alien, now he needs to have the Grim Reaper, of course. So let's, uh, let's chuck in the flirt there. And Manny... Let's get a Manny, like, just over here. So that she won't see this. Fantastic! There we go! Wife is out of picture! Okay, Jim, I think we should... Wait, where, where are you going? Grim! Grim! But... But Grim... 
I, I thought we had something special. Wait, why is the other Grim here? The other Grim's still on the toilet. Okay, let's talk to this one. God, let's walk in while he's shitting and ask about his day. Hey, what's going on? <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> right, as you can see by the bar, things are actually going all right with Wim. I think this one's glitched and he won't actually go back to his world. I think he'll just stick here. So, we could add him to the family if we're good enough at this. Keep a Manny in a little basement thing. You know, Nigel gets lonely sometimes. If we can't use a Manny, who else are we going to use whilst we try and wait for Rhiannon? You know, Nigel's going to get lonely. Maybe this is the answer. Maybe this is it. Nope. Hey, no, where'd you go? Why? Why'd you go? God damn it. Now I'm stuck with that. <laughs> Jesus, what even is that? Ah. Oh, James, I forgot this was your house. So sad. Do you want us to leave, man? I think we should leave. Now let's go home. I'm gonna get Nigel to explore space because we need all those space rocks, uh, space rocks for the orchid. Yes, bye, Nigel. And then we need the orchid to make a death flower, and then we need the death flower to make ambrosia the food. So it's gonna have to be a big one. It's like five different space rocks or something ridiculous. I right, go. Okay, along. Okay, good girl. Along like this, so you can get in and go sleep. Go on, get in there. Oh, Manny, you pissed on the floor. And Manny. Go on, get in there, get in there, you're disgusting. Locked door for everyone, Jesus. Stay in there. Well, Nigel, no luck on the rocks. It's gonna be a while till we can get Rhiannon back, I think, but... Oh, hey, 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 hey! What? Uh, what? Incoming text message, Rhiannon nil. I can't get you out of my mind, lady. Wanna go on a date, get some breakfast, and share lava? Okay. What's going on? Is Nigel being haunted? Does she want revenge? Oh dear lord, it's you, it's you, it's your wife, Nigel. Well, let's request a table, I guess. Hmm, I don't, I don't really know what's going on here. I guess this is where she died and she never really got the date that she wanted. Maybe her last request from the afterlife person, whoever it may, may be, was to have that date that she wanted. Maybe that was it. Oh, that's, that's, that's... That's ro that's so romantic. I tell you what, let's get some cubed ahi with veggie. Let's get up for both of them, why not? With the best wine in town. Fantastic. $118, it doesn't matter to us, you can't put a price on dead love. God damn, the bars have gone so low. I don't like this, what have we done, Nigel? God, we gotta get this back. We gotta get her back, Nigel. This is the best thing that happened to you in your life. Oh, here's our food, fantastic. No, we never got our food last time, finally. Thank you, Chef. Have a big tip on me. Let's go. Don't worry, Nigel. We will get her back, I promise you. In time. It's going to take a while, but soon she'll be with you. Might be when you're elder. Might be the day before you pass away and you only have one final day to be with her, but you will get her. What are you doing? Go away. We're having a private moment. Oh wait, what have we got here? The incoming call from Grim Reaper. Oh, we're gonna have to take it. Hey Nigel, it's me, Grim Reaper. Do you want to go out on a date? Ah, what a big decision. What is going on? All right, guys. I think I might leave it here. And we're gonna find out if I'm gonna pick no thanks to leave the date. I think you're gonna find out the answer to that. Right now, we're gonna go on a date.